You're in the studio of Perpetual Mojo listening to the mellow sounds of Candace Jedrowitz on the Cool to Craft channel. This one goes out to my niece, who's pursuing her dream to wow the world with her cupcakes. It's a little number I call Red Velvet Cupcake Earrings. I'm working on some tiny red velvet cupcake beads. I'm using one of my jewelry files actually to make the dents. And I'm just turning. I'm not making them too deep. I'm not making them too close together. I'm preparing my white icing to go on top of my cupcake. And it's going to go on in a spiral. It's okay with me if the hole is in the top because I'm going to make it into a bead. So I'm going to go right down through the top. And come out the bottom. I'm going to go back in the bottom just like that and then I will bake them according to the directions. Here's how we're going to put together Tammy's earrings. I have a head pin and I'm going to put it through the bead with a cherry red bead on the top. I'm going to grab it right above the bead and give it a little bend. And then I'm going to grab the inside of that bend and wrap the wire around. Now if you can't tell, that's a little bit off-centered, so I'm just going to bring it back to the center a little bit before I wrap the tail around. To make an ear wire, I usually measure across my palm, which I know is three inches. And then I use round nose pliers to grab the wire about half inch in and I fold it up and then I crimp it to make a loop. Then I slide it on just like that. I put my round nose pliers back in and I bend the tail sideways like that so it can be wrapped around easily. And you can do this with your pliers. If it's a nice long tail you can do it with your hands. And then just cut off what you don't need. Then, we're going to use this as the front because we're going to bend the wire like that, so exaggerate it a little bit more. And then, the part that goes through the ear is just bent over the handle of my pliers just like that. You usually want to compare it with your other one to make sure that it looks about the same and then you'll trim the ends off. And the last thing to do is smooth the end of the wire with a buffer or a fingernail file. Nice. I think Tammy's going to like these. Imagine all the delicious jewelry you could make. Polymer clay is fabulous. It looks so yummy and it is cool to craft. Stay crafty, my friends. <laughs>